Hi guys, welcome to another video. Oh, phew, it's hot. There's no bloody end to this hot weather, is there? Oh, I, I can't remember the last time I had a good night's sleep with this bloody hot weather. Let's hope it cools down soon. Anyway, guys, um, in this video, uh, this is a uh, part one of two videos I'm going to be doing uh, about uh, some two uh, two fantastic releases by Second Sight Movies. Now, the first one I want to talk about is. The House of Drip Blood. Now, this was made in 1971, uh, and it stars Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, John Pertwee, and a host of other fine uh, actors. Now, this was is one of my all-time favourites uh, Amicus Portmanteau movies. Um, as you know, if you know if, if you're familiar with the horror anthology uh, genre, Amicus were noted for, for you know for uh, for uh, releasing uh, some awesome, memorable, uh, you know, uh, put. Uh, Portmanteau horror movies with you know a stellar cast with the likes of Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, Ingrid Pitt, and that. Now this is certainly uh, one of their best. I say it was made in 1971, and uh, basically the basic frame and story uh, it's about this house and everybody that's taken the house on. Uh, they met like a horrific end. Uh, you know different stories like you know different people taking the house on. Now uh, the first person uh, to take the house on is a, a horror writer. It was played by Den Home Elias. Now um, I won't give too much too much away about each story, but it's basically about, as I say, the horror writer, and he's he's he's, he's created this character. I think he's called Barnabas, the serial killer. And once he starts writing about him in the house, he starts actually. Well, he thinks he's seeing him everywhere in the house. Now he sees him on the stairs. He sees him behind him. And at one point, uh, he even uh, possesses. Uh, well, he seems to possess Denham um, Helius, and he ends up trying to strangle his wife. Uh, who's played by the lovely Joanna Dunham? Uh, so yeah, it's a fine, fine way to kick off, kick off the uh, kick off the same um, story. And in the framing story, the police detective, who's uh, he's a, a little bit cynical about the about the house's notorious reputation for being haunted. His name, he's played by an actor, very fine British actor called John uh, John Bennis. Um, so yeah, so he plays the police inspector. And uh, he's getting told these four stories about these uh, different people that's at the house. Uh, and as I say, he's very, very cynical. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's the first story. Anyway, uh, getting back to the the segments. Uh, and now we've got the um, you've got the um, Christopher Lee story. Uh, I think it's called Sweet, Sweet, Sweet and Sweet. And basically, uh, this is about like Christopher Lee plays this rather, um, you know, a stiff, a stiff, a, you know, no nonsense father. We've got this little blonde girl as his daughter, uh, and he's very, very sort of like, well, he's a bit overprotective of her and that, you know. And it, apparently, it turned out that his mother, the, the mother, uh, was a, was a witch, uh, you know. And uh, I think, if memory serves me correctly, I think she she burned to death anyway, burned to death. But anyway, um, yeah. So that's a, another good story in that, and he takes on this a. Uh, it's a governess is sort of like look after the little girl and that, and she sort of like has a you know some altercations with him about how he's he's being how he's bringing the little girl up and that you know but it's this is an, an, another great story you know starring Christopher Lee uh, and as I say um, I won't tell you you know too much as I say I won't tell you too much about each story and that you know uh, for fear of spoiling it for you and then you've got a, um, the other story the third story a uh, Peter Cushion he plays this guy like who's sort of like um, it's just like it, it relates to um, this uh, this this girl in the in the, muse in the museum horror museum. Uh, she's a bit like Salome, uh, and she's sort of like um, I think this is actually the weakest of. The, although I love this movie, I, I think this is slightly weaker of the four stories in that you know. Um, so I'll just but I'll just uh, show you it anyway. Um, this terrific edition by Second Sight. Um, so you've got your booklet there, and then you've got your Blu-ray. So this, these are fantastic little, little booklets, these, they really are. Um, so I'm just going to try and find the Peter Cushion story now. So there, there's the picture from the Peter Cushion, Peter Cushion one. Uh, fantastic picture of Christopher Lee there, where he's on the phone and that, you know. Yeah, directed by Peter Duffel, produced by Max J. Rosenberg and Milton Sabotsky, whose names are, are synonymous with, with Amicus. Fantastic picture of Chris um, Ingrid Pitt. That's the John Pertwee story I'll discuss here later. There we go. John Pertwee with his vampire cloak. Robert Block, Robert Block story is very much associated with these uh, these kind of uh, horror anthology movies. John Pertwee again, the uh, rather, um, you know, argumentative horror actor, you know. 
love the part where he says in that story um, about you can't beat the old old horror movies like Dracula, Frankenstein, and that you know, and he's sort of like uh, and, he, and when he mentions Dracula, oh, um, Bella the Ghost, of course, not that new fella. I mean that's like a little sort of like side joke to sort of like the the, the sort of like uh, Christopher Lee Dracula and that you know, but really all as I say, very good, uh, very good portmanteau uh, portmanteau movie this. There's one Peter Cushion again. There's the one with the horror writer, Ben Home Elliott, and his wife, played by Joanna Dunham. Marvelous twist to these stories as well, especially that one about the horror writer. Just a classic. I mean, I've watched this movie so many times over the years, and I never get tired of it, yeah. So we're getting back to what I was saying about the... Uh, the Peter Cushion one is it's got like connections with a local a like like a local wax museum and that you know and there's a there's a there's sort of like a, an effigy in there of this girl and that you know and the fella who's in charge of the of the wax works is a rather creepy character and that you know but I say I won't go on too much about it like in case you haven't seen the movie and the, the final story in this uh, wonderful wonderful movie is the one uh, involving John Pertwee uh, who plays a, a rather sort of like brus brus uh, you know arrogant uh, horror actor. Um, and he's sort of like he's never satisfied, like you know, with um, with the horror settings and that. I mean, like he, he comes he, one day, he comes onto the set and he's very very snappy in that with the with the cast and crew. And he gets his cane out and he's not satisfied with the with the scenery and the canvas. And he, he sort of like sort of like destroys it by sort of like lashing out with his cane and that you know, load of rubbish and that you know. And but anyway, he um, he gets a he buys this um, vampire cloak. From this sort of like a uh, dealer in this rather sort of like creepy, creepy streets and that you know, and uh, consequently, um, it's actually um, it's actually a real vampire's cloak, um, you know, and sort of like once he dons it and that, uh, you know, uh, well Ingrid Pitt puts it on and he puts it on and they actually turn into vampires and that, you know. But I won't go on too much as I won't go on too much about this in case you haven't seen it. But that is a great ending, you know, to the four stories. But then you've got like. The frame and story wraps up as well at the end, sort of like where John Bennett goes to investigate the house for himself. And above it, he's like, again, I won't say too much, reveal too much about what happens. But the house that drip blood, in my opinion, is one of Amicus's finest uh, horror portmanteau films. I mean, it really is. I mean, I used to have this on DVD, but I, when I was made up when I, the Blu ray, I, I Second Sight was released in the Blu ray. So, uh, yeah, so the house that drip blood, as I say, I'd reckon this is one of the greatest. Uh, a horror anthology movies that Amicus have ever made. I love the house, the creepy house and that, you know, the isolated setting and that, you know, they're all fine actors and that, you know, um, and the twist in the story. And especially love the Christopher Lee one, you know, with his little girl, like his mother was a witch and that, you know. And yeah, <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, guys, um, as I say, um, if you're looking for a good, uh, yeah, you've never seen any of the Amicus Portmanteau movies, I suggest you start with this one, The House of Drip Blood. Um, fantastic movie so yeah and a great addition by second sight and as you can see here if you can see it in the background i've got the poster up on the wall of the house of drip blood which was included with this edition and um, so yeah guys that's the house of drip blood so uh, stay tuned for part two of this uh, second sight second sight uh, video review when i'll i'll be reviewing another fine uh, movie that amicus released in 1972 uh, called Asylum, starring Robert Powell in the frame and story. So if you've enjoyed this video and your comments about the House of Drip Blood, please feel free you know, to leave a comment, subscribe, share, and uh, I shall see you in the next video. Stay cool, guys. Whew, it's boiling.